Hello folks, this is the Macanao Maker System Lamborghini Aventador set. 10 plus years, 722 parts and yours for anywhere between about 60 and 80 pounds depending where you get it from. Currently at Smith's or Smythe's if you prefer, toy shops, this one is 59.99 and was probably 20 quid cheaper than what I paid for it knocking on for six weeks ago now I suppose. At the time couldn't get it anywhere but other than Amazon France this one. But I think it was free postage so gained a bit there. It's quite a skeletal uh, model. Rather traditional really from a Meccano. Meccano in its early days didn't have anything like flexible plates and that sort of thing. So there was a lot of imagination used I suppose and uh, a lot of skeletal uh, models sort of... Uh, framework of only sort of thing uh, and they did tell you to use cardboard um, certainly for the London bus in the 1914 manual so in some ways that is traditional of course it's not that traditional with the uh, newer plastic parts of course expect this to be about the same size as the LaFerrari I have heard that there are a couple of niggles with it but I haven't experienced that yet obviously we haven't built it yet so we'll find that out it'll have to go some to be as poor as the LaFerrari set of course Looking at it, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything like the length of build of the Ferrari either, which is good. But uh, we've got suspension on the front, by the looks of it. Real working scissor doors and this uh, pistons moving in effect when you push it along. This is the back of the box. Um, it's a French set, by the way, so it's got the rather tough uh, tear-off strip box. There it shows the suspension there and the uh, pistons that will move up and down as you go and the scissor style doors new style wheels looks like it's got the small pushing hook caps like the LaFerrari so I hope we don't have any issues there with them either getting the wheels on or getting them to stay on the axles without well the rear axle sort of exploded on the LaFerrari if you like but uh, that's it it's a one model set let's have a look inside and there you are folks, a bit of a disappointment in regards to the box size being quite big uh, compared to what's inside. Of late I've got used to the having the just about right size box for the parts inside the box and it looks better. Usual writing on the bags and let's have a look through these, um, a quick look through the bags. We've got some uh, orange steel narrow strips, plenty of plastic parts. Triaxle, plenty of zinc, um, quarter inch spaced and non quarter inch spaced. Uh, just looking through, the zinc looks a little bit thin there. Of course, it is a French set, seems to be common. More metal, actually, a lot of metal, that's a surprise. Uh, narrow strips there in this orange. Uh, ah, a new gear. At least new style. I don't know how many teeth it's got. So if it tells us, we'll have a look at that in more close up, and we'll find out if there's the new parts. We'll try and uh, dig them out and show you them anyway. Loads of nuts and bolts. That's very good. We can always use nuts and bolts, can't we? And some more zinc parts and some more gears. Uh, yep, the zinc looks mm, at best average, I would say. Then we've got a big bag here. Uh, again, triple bagging is good and double bagging and what a multiple bagging is good. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff in there. Let's have a quick look through that. I think that one easy enough. So the first bag out, we've got the wheels and tyres and the roof sections, which are new. Look very similar to the other Lamborghini, the Radio Control Huracan. Yes, it looks like we've got some new mechanoid style parts in there. Uh, tools, new, newish now. Driver and spanner. Windscreen and stickers. What's in here? Ah, plastic stuff. Yeah, plenty of plastic flip flop strips and other plastic parts. 
zinc smalls, the compression springs for the front suspension. Here's the instruction book, quite a large format one. A little bit dull, but actually looks a bit better than some of the other French ones we've seen of late. Again, stitching up the spine just there. Doesn't go to the near the edge like some of the Chinese ones does. But this is appreciated on the larger, uh, more appreciated I should say, on the larger, uh, thicker instruction books. I dare say it's the usual format, indeed it is. We have on the left the tips and uh, how to do things and it's the one model Lamborghini. Uh, looking at some of the parts I've spotted already in the bags, it looks like the front suspension is the same as the uh, LaFerrari. Let's just hope there's more movement on that one and more space for the movement. So, here we are then, we'll have a look at, uh, we'll start at stage one, why not? Here we are, stage one, we've got some uh, metal, quarter inch spaced uh, no, strips going on to a mechanoid plastic flat plate I suppose you call that. White outlining, good, nice and clear. On this number two, we don't have the white outlining. Now, I've said before, just do it for all of it. It's far, far easier. Again, the white outlining's gone. You might say you don't really need it, but again, you, you know, it should be done on everything. Then just do it for everything and there's no arguments. Uh, scooting on a little bit. Stage 9, we've got it back here. We've got some newer parts here. I haven't seen any of these before. Uh, mechanoid style parts, of course. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Um, the chassis is different to the LaFerrari. Um, this one looks less involved, so that should mean a far quicker build. Although, the actual chassis on the Ferrari is quite a nice build. You have to be careful getting things right, but it is quite a decent structure. So yeah, we've got uh, decent sized uh, instructions. Um, here, uh, we're doing this, the uh, part of the suspension setup and going on to the steering. Um, we don't need to see all this chassis. We only need to see this bit and then we could have that to fill the page we, or maybe not even fill the page so uh, I've said it many times now we don't need to see this whole chassis all the time um, white outlining here um, we've got a bit of white outlining and shading in the parts list there for example now this is the steering and it looks very similar to the LaFerrari just here on stage uh, 23 I wonder if we're going to get um, steering wheel and I wonder how strong the actual steering structure is going to be uh, you can't really see it here but that's it there because it's all black there's no white outlining and it looks very similar if not the same it does look the same to be honest as the LaFerrari that means the front wheels are going to be all over the place when you try and push it along but we'll wait till we've built it I suppose but uh, to coin a catchphrase from a game show many years ago I'll just say what I see um, nice looking seats, I said this about the LaFerrari I think uh, I like the way they make the seats out of quite common parts and they look quite good, quite realistic in a way um, and a quick look through I just start to get a bit involved, see this is what I mean folks, this is probably a better example now all we're doing on stage 59 is putting these two narrow angle brackets on the front sides here the one there one there we don't need to see all that okay that's a basic thing and that that size of image is, is perfectly fine but we don't need to see all that we really don't it's silly right then uh, uh, the instructions do look on the whole clear enough there are quite a few black blobs Let's scoot to the back of the book, see how many stages, I think it's about 150 for the LaFerrari. And for this one is, well technically it doesn't say, but it's 91. And that's putting stickers on. And uh, there's 90, look at this for black blobs, uh, almost totally black blobs for the wheels. Uh, but... Um, doesn't look very pretty from that angle, does it? But uh, anyhow, we'll give it a go, and then we'll throw it up the wall. 
Right, let's have a look at the parts list. See how good that is and see what we get for our, what, £62.80. Oh, got a decent layout of parts. Nice to see we have white outlining on the black parts, that's good. The tyres, for example. Here's those new uh, mechanoid style brackets. Um, these new, newish variants of the triangular flexible plate, plastic of course, with a corner cut off there. Uh, an array of strips of varying materials and styles and holes. Uh, looking up the other side, all looks pretty common all up here. All that looks common, but we've got another page full here. Again, we've got the white outline in it. Looks like we've got the new small um, was it 12 tooth um, bevel gears again. That's good. Those are the cams there, that bit of a black blob there. That's a cam. That's what's going to operate the pistons. They've been around for a while now uh, from the, uh, uh, the F1, small F1 car from you know, 18 months ago. Uh, those of you who've seen the LaFerrari set would have seen much of this, these small prop shafts and suspension arms and uh, ball joints. Uh, those are nice in theory, but not in the design for the LaFerrari. They're pretty lanky and uh, do not hold the wheels structurally sound at all. The wheels will flop about everywhere if it's anything like that. Over the page, or the other side of the page, we have 47 washers, that's good, 153 nuts, that's very good. Um, where's the standard bolts? Uh, 80 standard bolts. Uh, a selection of longer ones, not a massive amount of them. Uh, quick snaps, and they're tools. Um, so what's that roughly? 153 nuts, that's nearly, that's probably about four quid to guess. Uh, washers, 50, oh, I don't know, that's probably about a pound's worth I suppose. Uh, so that's a fiver, and the bolts there. Uh, there's probably about seven quid's worth of standard fixings and the washers as a guess. Right folks, these are the uh, newer parts, um, at least new styles or brand new parts, um, some of which, or one of which, may be very similar to the last Lamborghini, the RC Huracan, um, Huracan I should say, set. And that is the roof line parts, so this is just one side there. That might be exactly the same, but I don't have that set with me to compare at the moment. It's still being completed. Not without its little troubles, I'm afraid. Nothing so far like the LaFerrari. Out of many of the sets I've built, uh, brand new and a bit older, the LaFerrari is by far the worst. So far. So it'll have to go some to be that bad. So that's the new roof lining parts, so or at least one side. Uh, we've got new star wheels. Nothing really brilliant and fantastic and new about the wheel. It's the not common uh, wheel itself. Same as the LaFerrari in regards to the little hubcaps by the looks of it, that could be problematic. Uh, but nice new style, black. Um, I think most tyres, uh, sorry, wheels tend to be uh, grey or light grey, varying grey. So, uh, yeah, that's quite nice. And looking at the uh, official uh, Lamborghini UK website, those are a very good likeness to some of the wheels you can pick. What else have we got? Well, nothing special here. It's a flat plate, but it's, it's, it's certainly mechanoid. Uh, it's, um, those who have built a mechanoid with the um, servos, you've got like um, it's a double bracket or like an N or a U section part. Uh, and this is looks like part of one of those, just a flat plate. Uh, we'll wait and see what we use that for. This unusual looking bracket, part of the chassis of course on this by the looks of it. Again sort of mechanoid style. A um, little bit flexible one way and always really but um, looks fairly tough, feels not too bad. And lastly, this as far as I know anyway, new gear. Um, for triaxle fitting and it does say on it it's part number D115 which is just there, I don't know, but having trouble with this focusing of late, is it time to replace the camera, I don't know, there. 
And the opposite side of that we've got 47 teeth by the looks of it. Just there, 47. I guess so you can see that there. Yeah, I guess there, 47. That's the teeth as far as I know. I haven't counted them though. Um, could be very useful. Could be very useful indeed. Uh, new gears are perhaps a rarity. So that's about it for the parts. There's a lot of newish stuff, but we've seen them before. So we've got that new gear that I haven't seen anywhere before. This new bracket. These small flat mechanoid flat plates, I think. New style wheel. And something that may be very similar, if not the same, to the other uh, Lamborghini set. One of the roof lining mechanoid style part. So there we are folks, the Meccano Maker System Lamborghini Aventador set. 10 plus years, 722 parts, yours for anywhere between 60 and 80 pounds depending where you get it from. Real working suspension on the front, scissor doors, uh, moving V12 pistons. See you again soon.